Good day GIS lovers. Do you know about WebGIS and GeoServer? If not, then don't worry. This course will make you from zero to hero in WebGIS and GeoServer. Even you don't need any programming language to start this course. After completing this course, you will learn what is WebGIS, how to start your WebGIS career, which programming language you need to start your WebGIS career, what is open source WebGIS, what is GeoServer, how to install GeoServer in your PC, how to make your shape file as a WebGIS map, how to share your WebGIS map to another user by using web platform. Not only that, you will learn some basic knowledge of another open source WebGIS as like Mapbox, Leaflet.js and so on. Now let's start our course. Section 1 WebGIS Lecture 1 Introduction After completing this lecture, you will learn about course instructor, introduction to WebGIS, programming languages for WebGIS, open source WebGIS platforms, and finally WebGIS career. Now let's introduce with the course instructor. Myself, Mohammad Shahriar Alom. In profession, I am WebGIS specialist and member of OpenStreetMap Foundation and also founder of Shariar GIS. In my eight years experiences of GIS and web GIS, I have done a lot of projects of GIS in USA, Canada, Australia, Italy, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Many of my GIS research, my GIS works has been published in national and international newspapers. GIS is my passion rather than profession. Now I am going to share my this 8 years experiences of GIS with you by using this online training platform. Now let's back to the class. Hello everyone, welcome to the world of GIS. Today we will learn what is Web GIS. Web GIS is the combination of two things. Number one is Web and number two is GIS. So Web GIS is the combination of Web and GIS. Now let's see what we need to learn to start our WebGIS career. First of all, you need to learn HTML, which is the ABCD of WebGIS programming. After learning this ABCD, you can write your name, which means WebGIS project, using that HTML. So we can say HTML as ABCD and uh, the WebGIS project we will create using that HTML. We can say this as writing our name so this is the first step to start WebGIS learning after that you need to learn some advanced level programming language based on your WebGIS project and uh, your WebGIS platform you are using to complete your project requirement say in ArcGIS Online there are many advantages of ArcGIS Online and also some limitation and those limitations are not exist in GeoServer but uh, in GeoServer there are many limitations which are not exist in ArcGIS Online. So many platform has some limitation and advantages. Uh, you need to select suitable platform of open source of GIS based on your project requirement. If you learn ArcGIS Online you need to learn SLD language. If you learn um, GeoServer you also need to learn SLD language and some HTML programming. If you want to learn Google Maps API, you need to learn obviously HTML, JavaScript, PHP, MySQL and Google Maps API. And there are many more open source WebGIS platform. It will be uh, depends on your WebGIS project, what your project required. Let's see what is the career about WebGIS. WebGIS uh, is being used in many sector business sector medical sector and uh, planning sector in business sector you can use WebGIS uh, to control your marketing persons to control your customers using the web platform in medical sector you can see in your WebGIS the population data the disease data the area which are vulnerable and uh, the area which are not vulnerable 
and uh, in the planning sector there are many use in planning sector in real estate they are also using webgis to manage their properties and uh, plot and flat database spatial database non spatial database and the future is in webgis present is gis but the future is webgis so learn gis then advanced yourself and your career by learning webgis after all of this enjoy gis mm -hmm.